did I need to go this far with the look? No, I didn't. You see me get carried away? Yes, you did. Am I regretting it? Hell to the no. <laughs> Hey guys, Colleen here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe on your way out. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. As you can tell by the title, your girl is going to try to do well. I'm gonna do a full face of elf makeup. I had to pick up a foundation because I don't have a foundation. I don't know if this will be a match for me, but we're gonna try the Retro Paradise collection, the eyeshadows, as well as the brushes that I have. Face duos that I bronzer for me. I know this wouldn't work as a bronzer for everybody, and I did see people who were fairer than me complain that it wasn't a great bronzer. But we will try, <laughs> we will try. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop moisturizer I like this it's a pity that this is limited edition this moisturizer feels really nice on your skin and it is heavily scented watermelon like watermelon candy so if you know you're that kind of person who don't like scent or you're sensitive to scents, I wouldn't start. So, ooh, I feel juicy. I don't know if I want to do face first and then eyes first. I usually do eyes first and then face, but I feel like I'm gonna do face first. So, I'm going to use a combination of primers. Let me try this one. This tone adjusting face primer, even though I don't know where on my face need adjusting, but ooh, this is what it looks like. That's cool. I'm gonna put it by my mouth. My mouth. My mouth needs some adjusting. <laughs> Much of a difference in tone, are you? But it does feel very silicone to the touch, so that's interesting. I am, however, going to use the matte um, putty primer on my T-zone, and I'll probably use the jelly pop on my cheeks. I know. So this is the Elf. Flawless Finish Foundation, they recommended the shade Caramel for me. I'm a MAC NC45. I don't know if this foundation is going to match. Oh, it comes with a pump. Elf. We doing things? So let's just see. Uh, okay, so that's the foundation there. So it's looking like a, a decent enough much on my hand but my hand tends to be okay that's not bad y'all it's thick though she's very thick all right let's do one more pump all right see so i match myself well they match me well <laughs> it looks a lot darker in the bottle and it does on the face. Wow. The more you know, just use this elf brush here. Yeah. 
I have this weird dry crusty thing by my nose there I've been doing things to try and like fix it but <laughs> But yeah, like, it's looking good, right guys? I'm going to get a beauty sponge to apply the concealer. And I have three concealers here. I have two of the original Camo concealers and one of the hydrating ones. I think I'm going to use a combination of the two to do under my eyes. So let me just go with a sponge and be back. Okay, so I have a wet sponge here. So I'm going to use a combination of tan sand in these two, right? Okay, so they gave me a under eye banana powder. This is a sample size. I don't think this is a full size. So I will use this under my eyes. Just get this plastic off. I took the cap off because this is so tiny and I'll be taking out powder forever. <laughs> if I use the sifter, I'll just pop it back on afterwards. But I'm just gonna tap some in the cap here and I'm gonna put it underneath my eye. I do have a elf brow pencil. I bought this a long time ago and I forgot I had these. I know they have a one with an even finer tip. I was gonna get that, but then I was like, I already have brow pencils, so I'm just going to <clears throat> outline my brows. I don't have any eye bases from elf brand so I'm going to finish up this deluxe sample of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye base like I have a brand new one sitting on waiting and I've been using this one for months so you can imagine how long the full size is going to take me to use up so I don't know if I'm going to do a very colorful look or a simple look um, I feel I'll just go for a neutral look today you know and maybe a colorful one later on so I am going to take the shade sandy bomb here and use that as a crease color Woo, she a pigmented crease color. Oh, a sandy bum on the eyes. I like how the sandy bum looks in the crease. Like, it's a perfect crease color for me. I don't know. I just can't help it. I'm just trying to figure out color situation. So, going in with Royale. Woo, and Royale has some. <laughs> wow. She's pigmented. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Papa, yoy. Who said this palette was not pigmented? Never tried this palette. Whoa. Hello. She, I swatched her and she looked crumbly. Lord, 
pray she is not. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, light tapping motion, guys. Light tapping motions, but she pretty. Ooh! I'm going in with Tropicana on the inner. Should I? Or should I go with Bahama? I don't know. Let's do the purple. Let's do the purple. Alright, and if you thought I was done, you were wrong. I'm going in with Disco on top of it. Because Disco. I just want a disco ball on my eye. It's already shaped like one, so. Ooh, You all see him now? It's like, are you all seeing that? Let me just wipe off some of that blue. Cause I went back in with the same brush. I don't feel like going up. Ooh, look at that fallout. I needed to do my eyes first. And I'm just gonna take like one of the tiny like liner brushes and run that on the edge of my eyes to connect the book. Lightly, Ooh. just that away, but you see him. How about this? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me take that kind of purpley shade. This school, oh wow, this school is insane. Look at this. Oh my word. Oh my word. Alrighty. So I don't have any other eye products from Elf. So I will finish my eyes off camera. Brushes are on. <laughs> I was going to go with a heavy lash and then I was like, Gil, Colleen, the eye look already is a lot. Next time I'll do a a bronze look guys I, uh -uh. I don't know what I was thinking so yeah so we're gonna try and incorporate these in the look let me try coconut and let me get my favorite bronzing brush for that hmm. So this is what it looks like, bronzer highlighter. Let me just swatch and see how it looks on the skin. Oh, she look kind of ready though. Like, let, let, let's see how much of a bronzer she could be. She looks like not 
black brad at all. And I feel I will go in with the highlights. Let me just wet my brush. You all know how I do it. Here comes the rain again. is like the guy he didn't want to give her a chance because he was boring and he actually turned out to be like a real nice cool guy hello what the hell is this they're like they're so shared and I have like all of them here I try golden pear, even though I feel golden pear. It's going to be just. Woo! I think we have a winner, golden pear. Alright, so let me try and mute out my lips a little bit. Just a smidge. Because we do need some muting. Unfortunately, okay. I'm going in with BFF3 Colourpop. I don't have any elf liners, unfortunately. Oh, yes, let me just dab back on a little bit of the Sheer Slick in Golden Pear one of the newer ones that I picked up recently so I'm back looking at people and I realized my ring light was like in the back there this whole time I should have moved it but it is what it is so just a quick round up of the products I used from elf um, I love the brushes. Um, the this brush, brush which is a buffing brush. No, it's the Air Brush Blender. This blended all the foundation very well, which I was surprised with. Um, I use this to sweep under the eyes all the follow, which it did very well. And these three, even though I had to pull a couple more eye brushes, they did the trick. So I really like. I really liked these brushes you all know how I feel about this jelly pop moisturizer I love it I need to buy backups of it because it is that good um, in terms of the primers let me see if I could get all in one shot so I did use a combination of the jelly pop primer love it said that it is a dupe for the milk hydro grip primer so if you don't want to spend $30. This one I think is about 8 US if I'm not mistaken. You can get it on the Elf website. I don't know if there are any Trinidad sellers selling this locally. Perhaps they should. I'm just saying. Um, Y'all know I did a review on the matte poreless putty primer and the original. It's a great dupe against the Toucher canvas, silk canvas primer. Which is like $52 and these are like $8 a pop and I actually like the um, toner Justin face primer I did use it around the mouth because I do have slight discoloration there um, but oddly enough I didn't see any tone adjusting there but it does have a nice smooth silicone um, finish so this would probably work very well if you have smile lines or dip lines under your eyes so this wasn't bad at all I love this foundation like look this is darker in the bottle than it is and this is my face well matched didn't have to do too much adjusting in terms of the color 
I will make sure to list everything in the description box below. I reviewed these concealers a while back and you know my thoughts on it. I love these concealers. They're really good and I actually like them combined and the face palettes. I mean you don't have to get all. I got all but these are quite nice. I wish they had like a bronzer that was deep enough that I could use as a bronzer. Um, the deepest shade was just a little too red on my complexion to be used as a bronzer. Maybe someone who is fairer toned and they need to get like deeper darker shades because you know it have a lot of deeper darker people out there. But these are really good. Um, I would just suggest get the ones, the colors that work for you. But this is a really good product. I am impressed. You all know how I feel about the e.l.f. bite size um, eyeshadow palettes, but audio, this palette, oh my gosh, like, look at the eye look, look at the eye look, and the funny thing is, I saw a lot of mixed reviews, I saw a lot of people complain about the quality and the blendability of these eyeshadows, and I wanted to use the difficult shades, the shades that people complained about so like the blues and the purples and they worked very well for me so I don't know if it is a quality control issue where they just simply got a bad batch or a technique issue where I just knew how to work it flip it and reverse it but audio if you're interested in this eyeshadow palette I would say grab it because <laughs> The, the quality of these eyeshadows are unreal um, I did use the under eye powder the banana one and I actually like this it smooths right underneath my eye very nicely I didn't try the sheer one so I will try out the sheer one in another video and I did have these I didn't get a chance to use these these are the lip balms but I'll use this on these where I'm wearing absolutely no makeup and I just want to moisturize my lips but guys like these oh my gosh and I didn't think like the lighter shade would have worked so well for me I did have to kind of blot out my lips with a little foundation because I'm very pigmented lips you know but it's like the perfect nude for me i just had to run like a lip liner on it and like i legit could go to a party like this now <laughs> like seriously i am just very impressed overall with the brand i hope you like this look and i hope um me demoing these products um helps you decide whether you're gonna purchase or pass on any of these items that you've been looking at thank you so very much for watching please make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys